All right, Bill Jensen from Captive Audience Prevention uh, Training and Recovery Team. We're out here at Falls Bluff, and we're going to do some river crossing stuff. One of the things that many people don't know is that you can rig your backpack so that it will float. Now to do that, you've got to use a waterproof bag inside. A lot of, uh, a lot of people go ahead and get uh, your standardized waterproof bags uh, like this one. And these are great because you pack all your gear inside that, cinch it down, get a good seal, and buckle it up on itself. But you really don't need to spend money to get that kind of waterproof bag. A couple of these good, good garbage, your black garbage bags, your heavy duty garbage bags. If you stuff two of these inside your pack, pack all your gear inside them, and then blow them up, get as much air as you can in them. With all of the gear in there, gooseneck them, and then tie them down with a piece of paracord, your rucksack's going to float. Two of these garbage bags, I've seen two of these garbage bags float up to 500 pounds of gear. What you want to remember is the more, the more that you have uh, packed in your pack, everything should be in plastic bags, your wallet, your, your phone, uh, your keys, everything that goes in there. And then you're going to want to put that in, uh, just remember in, in diving, the rule is one is none, two is one. So you've got those bags that create air pockets, put those in a bigger bag, seal it up real well inside your pockets, and you're going to be able to swim your pack. Uh, in a little bit, I'll swim the pack and show you that it works, and, uh, and we'll go from there. All right, thanks a lot. All right, Bill Jensen again, Captive Audience Prevention Training Recovery Team. We're going to take this rucksack in. I'm going to show you that indeed it floats. So if I was going to cross a river with just my rucksack, You'll see it floats.